Welcome to my video locating the proper site and anchoring of the vein when a puncture and discuss explain the different phlebotomy materials, equipment, and their uses. The blue lines are going to be the veins that we're talking about. The two that we're mainly focusing on are median cubital vein, which is pointed here, and then we have the median cephalic vein, and so your first that you want to use is the cubital and the median cubital. And that is because it's also known as the median vein, by the way, but it's more stationary. It's going to less painful for the patient. It's going to be probably the most prominent vein on the arm, in the fold of the arm, and it's also going to be less like by for you to have a difficult stick, okay? If we can't get blood from the vein, we're going to go to the other one, the cephalic vein. And then if we can get it on the arm at all, we can go down the veins on the hands, the top of the hands. An efficient phlebotomist will always be prepared with the right equipment required for drawing blood. Generally, in the blood drawing station, a comfortable chair with adjustable armrest is used for patients to recline or sit for blood collection. It is designed to study backrest, support for the arm, and keep the patient from falling out. In the phlebotomy tray, equipment is used organized for drawing blood. Blood collection tubes are designed to fill with the predetermined volume of blood by vacuum. The rubber stoppers are colored coded according to the additive that the tubes contain. Phlebotomists determine what tests are ordered and what tubes will be necessary before the beginning to draw blood and also determine the order to draw for tubes. Sterile disposable needles are used for drawing blood. They are designed by single use only. Types of needles are used by phlebotomists with different gauge size, being appropriate for different veins, different patients, and different uses. If higher the gauge, the smaller will be the diameter of needles. Accutainers allow multiple tubes to be collected in a single venipuncture. They have double pointed needle and have threaded part that is screw into holder. Vacuum thinners are designed to draw and extract volume of blood and to take the veins anchored and the needle is inserted and the vacuinator tube is depressed into the needle to begin drawing blood. Butterfly needle is effective for small or difficult veins, hand orderly and pediatric. It allows for flexibility and precision than a needle syringe. The tourniquet is applied for palpating the suitable vein for drawing blood. When the final tube is being drawn, the tourniquet is released to avoid complication. Before drawing blood, 70% isopropyl alcohol wipes are used for sterilizing the site of the blood collection. A new pair of gloves must be used for each patient and remove when done. The non-sterile, disposable latex, natrile, neoprene, polyethylene, and vinyl gloves are acceptable. Gloves with powder are not reminded. A bandaging material is needed to stop and cover the venipuncture area. Use the needle or discarded in the shop container. Blue marking pen is used for making on blood samples after collection. The blood samples, they are stored in refrigerator before packaging them for transporting to laboratories.